Aloha, everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of InHomeTutoringHonolulu.com. And today I'm going to show uh, teachers, tutors, and some of the parents out there how to make a math worksheet using Google Docs. And by the way, I should let you know that help is now available for Google Drive, the Microsoft Office 365 replacement and Gmail by Remote Computer Tutor and Troubleshooter J. Richard Kirkham, BSC. I also make house calls. But um, Google hasn't released a bad bug in a long time, and Microsoft is releasing them about once a month, except they called their bugs updates. So I'm getting a little frustrated with them. Uh, so I want to show you a couple of tricks here with making a math worksheet in Google Drive. So let's go ahead and in fact, um, I want to kind of, I want to delete what I did previously here just, just so we can have like a fresh start. That way you see everything right from the beginning, okay? And let's, uh, this is for second grader who's a really smart kid. He's going into second grade. And uh, I clicked on new. I'm going to click on Google Docs. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'm just getting into teaching him multiplication and division. And I'm kind of big on showing relationships as I teach those things. But the first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, first thing we're going to do is get my face out of the way. <laughs> and we're going to go into page setup. And we're going to make this uh, a quarter of an inch. So 0.25. I'm using the tab key there to tab in case anyone's wondering. And then I can hit enter to hit OK, or I can click the mouse one or the other. So there's a quarter of a page, which is really more reasonable. And we're going to be doing uh, addition, which I'm probably going to spell wrong. Whoops. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and vision. Okay, and let's center that right here. See that centered? And while it's highlighted, let's go into format, paragraph styles, and give that a heading one. That's uh, for you website designers out there, that would be the equivalent of H1. I do design websites. And there we go. All right, so from here, we're going to make us a table. And so we insert table. Now, don't click on that. Just go way over to here. And we're going to go as far down here as it'll let us. And we're going to go six. So I'm going to click in the very bottom one here. There we go. And let's... Uh, I've got them working on carryovers uh, and borrowing and things like that for addition and subtraction. So let's give them a little problem here. Let's give them 125, press enter, hit the plus sign, and say, you know, 75. Okay, we all know that will give us 200, right? So I'm going to press enter again, and then I'm going to hit my shift key. And press to the, and press actually tap to the left of the plus sign here so I can get a solid line. Now I'm going to give them some space to answer the question. So I tapped enter twice and then I'm going to tap enter here so we got some space above that. All right. So tap enter again. And now let's do some subtraction. So let's do, uh, 200 minus 75. You see what I'm doing here, right? 
And of course, we're, you know what our answer is going to be, right? 125. So that'll help teach the relationship of that. Okay. And one other thing here, I'm going to see if I can do this. See, see what happens. Nope, that won't work. But if I drag a bunch of lines here, then I can actually, at one time, I can make this text 14 points instead of 11. And that'll make things a better size uh, to be able to work with. So let's press enter again and let's do 200. Enter minus sign 125. Now we have a problem, don't we? Look at that. Okay, so we just, let's go ahead and make our line. And let's go ahead and uh, put our cursor in front of the two and tap the spacebar one time. Now, I want to show you something. It's kind of a little glitch here with Google Drive. When you click on this, then at first this goes all the way over to here. And you're like, oh, no, no, I can't space this out. But when you do that again, okay, then... You can click that one more time. It'll it'll go one over. Uh, you know, tap the space bar one more time. So, little bitty glitch right there. It wasn't hard to figure out, but I, I am going to move this over. There we go. And now let's give them a multiplication problem. Uh, let's say I, I've got them doing single digits on the bottom. So let's say something like um, twelve press enter just use the x for multiplication and we'll say i want them to do a carryover so let's give them five and then we'll hit enter there yep. and now i want to do division okay once again i'm, I'm trying to show them the relationships here so we know that 12 times 5 is, let's see, blah, 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 60. Okay, so just did that in my head. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if I was wrong and the entire world see, saw me do that as a, as a teacher? I'm actually a dual certified teacher, by the way. I'm, uh, I have ADHD myself, so I specialize in those students that have ADHD and I'm able to help them uh, quite successfully. But let's say we want to do some division now. So let's say we want to do 60. But, oh, where on the keyboard is the divided by symbol? Whoop. How about that? Sorry about that. That was my phone. Uh, one of my uh, remote computer clients is having a problem. I told her I'd call her back. Don't worry. So, but there's no, there's, there's no uh, division symbol on the keyboard. So here's what you do. I go up to view and tell it to show the equation bar. Okay. So from here, we tell it new equation. And I happen to know that, there we go, miscellaneous operations. I'll click on that. There's the divided by symbol. And now I'm going to obviously tell it 5 equals. And I could make that wide enough to where he can put the answer down there. I'm not really worried about where he puts the answer there's actually enough space for him to do that. And obviously, uh, now, just to show you this again, I'm going to do this again. I went up to view and told it to show the equation bar. Okay. So let's go ahead now and give him 60 divided by 12. You see where I'm going with this, right? So 60... New equation over here that happens to be miscellaneous. You got a bunch of other choices here too, relationships, and there's your greater than symbols. 
anyway, it's so so a really nice, uh, unfortunately well hidden uh, toolbar. So we got divided by, and now we're going to put in twelve and equals. And we, I would do, I would fill this up, but now let's think about this for a minute here. When you see a worksheet in school, you don't see all these lines, right? Right. So here's what we do next. A little trick for you here. Right mouse click. I always tell my computer tutoring students, right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action. So right mouse click. And here we have table properties. And I want to change the color to white. Click on OK. And there we have it. There we have our, our math problems. Nice table style in a row, but the students do not see the table anymore. And one more bonus trick for you here. I've got an in-home uh, computer, tu uh, not computer tutoring, computer re repair client and printer repair client. And there's that information in case you ever need to pause it to get a hold of me. Uh, mainland, please text only. But let me show you this trick here. So if you click up here, the first line here will actually create your title. And when I, when I showed that to my, uh, actually on site, he uh, manages a condo. When I show that to my on site computer client, he, he was just ecstatic because he he had all this stuff that said untitled and I was able to help him organize that a little bit. So there you have it. That's your lesson from the tutor today on how to use Google Docs to make a math assignment. And that's all I can think of. I look forward to your feedback. Please like, subscribe, comment, ask me questions for other videos. Anyway, uh, that's it. So God bless you. Enjoy your computer and enjoy mathematics. <laughs>